Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. In today's video, we will talk about all selected function in Power BI. To understand all selected function, let's compare it with all function. This all function, it is used to ignore or exclude the filters for a visualization. Whereas all selected function, it picks up only the filters that you selected. Confused? Let's quickly look into an example to understand it better. If you see my screen here, I have this report in which I am getting the total sales for each product and total sales irrespective of the product and the sale percentage. So here the total sales is the total sale value for each product and the sales all, this column, we created this using all function. This column will be the total value of all the products. If you see the total sale denominator here, the total value, this will be repeated in all the rows here. And the sale percentage, it's total sales divided by sales all. This is the sale percentage. And the sale percentage, we have 100% for all the products and for all countries. If you don't know how we created the sales all column, you can find it in all function video and that is in the description box below. And now what we are doing is, we are trying to select a country here. I am selecting a country Canada. So if you look at the sale percent here, the percent is 20.96 which is not right. So when you select the country Canada, the denominator has to be the total sales for only Canada, only for that country. So the denominator has to be the total sales for whatever country we selected. That means like we have the same value here for all the rows. That way we should have this 24, this value to be repeated on all the rows here to calculate the sale percent for the countries. To do that, we use all selected function. Let's see how we do that. I am creating a new measure here. And I am giving the measure name as sales all selected. And starts with calculate. And I want to filter total sales here. It's the same like we did for the uh, all function except that we use all selected instead of all all selected and i am i want the product and i'm using product field here let's see what this does i'm bringing in the newly created measure sales all selected into the table Now you see the difference. You have this value repeated on all the rows in sales all selected column. If I choose Canada and France. So this value, this denominator is repeated in sales all selected. So now if we uh, create a measure for sales percent including total sales and sales all selected columns, we get the right percentage. Let's see that as well. I'm creating a new measure here and I'm naming it as um, all selected sales percent. And this would be divide total sales and Sales all selected. Right. Okay, I'm applying this measure now and I am bringing in this here. Okay. So now we have sales all selected percentage as well and we have 100% here whereas the sales sets, whereas the sale percent which is using sales all it has only 41%. So this all selected, it is considering the values for the filters we selected and ignoring the remaining ones. So it's 
including the filters for Canada and France because we selected these filters and it is ignoring the counts and it is ignoring these filters Germany, Mexico and United States because we haven't selected them. I hope this is clear now. Just to recap, all function, it ignores all the filters whereas all selected, it picks up the filters you selected and ignores the ones which you haven't selected. I hope now you understood why we use all selected function and what is the use of it. If you have any questions on all function or all selected functions, please ask them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer all of them. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And in the next video, I'll be talking about all except functions. So please stay tuned.